Pop this. Oh! Good morning. It is 3 a.m. for me. I'm jumping on an Asia server account because Hu Tao is now out. I woke up, I set an alarm, uh, and I borrowed someone's account so that I can get Hu Tao and show her off. Let's get her, let's level her up, and let's take a peek if she's actually any good. Let's get started. Oh my god. <laughs> I got another... I get on the fifth wish. Uh, he had quite a bit of pity. But, uh, I, oh, sixth wish. I got on the sixth wish. Let's look at this. All right, so I'm not going to go over the multipliers too much right now. We're going to level this up in a minute. But what I wanted to talk about are these passives because they're kind of nuts. Now, they called Hu Tao a burst DPS. Um, and, and I would say she she's looking like a burst DPS. You pop those abilities, you hit really hard, and then you swap to your other support characters before coming on back to Hu Tao. Now with this one, when you use your E ability and once it ends, you're actually going to be buffing the crit chance of your other teammates, which is really, really good. You can honestly use her as like a sub DPS or a secondary DPS if you wanted, or you use her as your main DPS, but you just swap to some hard hitting supports if you've leveled them up. Right, you could swap to Venti, pop a Q, and he's going to get some nice crit rate uh, built in. But this one here is insane. It's insane. And honestly, if you're using Bennett with Hu Tao, you're going to get this to proc pretty much every single time you use your E ability because you're only going to heal up to that, you know, 70% with someone like Bennett. And when you use her E ability, right, it costs 30% of your current HP. Um, so I think that there is going to be some potential to really abuse this, but this is 33% more pyro damage. That is insane. That's like half a golden cup. Actually, it's more than that. That is a very big boost to pyro damage. And when you use her E ability, um, this gives you pyro damage on all of your attacks. Your ultimate is going to be pyro damage. So you're going to, be, uh, you know, really be abusing that anytime you're using Hu Tao. Okay, so really quickly, the constellations. Um, some of them are really good for sure, but honestly, I think if you're playing a C0 Hu Tao, she's still gonna be really, really valuable. Uh, but I wanted to go over, you know, the kind of the key ones here. So this one, while activating Permita Papilo, which is the E ability, Hu Tao's charge attack don't consume stamina. So C1 would be very good because you can spam these charged attacks and, uh, and apply the Blood Blossom or whatever it's called. Now that's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's definitely valuable, but it's not necessary because there is a kind of a damage over time that this has. And while that would be nice to constantly be applying that, I mean, I don't think you can stack multiple of that blood blossom. So as long as you're throwing in a charge attack here and there, it's not going to matter too much. Ominous Rainfall, this one is actually pretty strong, especially if you are getting some uh, HP built into your kit. If you've got something like the Staff of Homa, this is going to be really strong, but this increases the Blood Blossom damage equal to 10% of Hu Tao's max HP. Now, C4 is kind of meh. Usually C4 is a big game changer, but this one is pretty, pretty bad. So, uh, unless you're going to C6, I wouldn't go much past C1 or 2. I, I really wouldn't go past more than C1 or C2. Uh, when you kill an enemy with Blood Blossom, you give your other party members 12% crit, which is fine. But like, I, I just don't know if I care about that that much. Like, it's cool, you're gonna get some extra damage on your other characters, but um, this doesn't do much to really help Hu Tao out at all. Now, C6 is essentially God Mode, okay? If you're gonna be taking a lethal strike when your HP is below 25% and you're gonna take a big hit that would normally kill you, you just tank it, you just don't die and you get 100% crit, you get a bunch of resistances, and it lasts for 10 seconds. So this is gonna be really strong uh, in those panic situations. You're gonna hit like an absolute truck, and there's nothing to say that you can't heal uh, during those 10 seconds, right? You could pop your Q ability to heal, uh, or you could be using someone like a, a Bennett or, or Xing Cho, some sort of passive healing, and heal up and stay safe, but that's pretty damn cool. But honestly, I feel like, I feel like this isn't gonna apply too much if you're a really good player. So again, I think C1 and C2 is the farthest I would go uh, or recommend going, especially if you're saved up for her, uh, because unless you're going all the way, I don't think it's worth it. And C4 is kind of trash. So there you go. So luckily we've got all the materials we need to level her up. So we're gonna do some levels. All right, she's vibing, she's doing good. We're ascending her, look at this. We're starting to get that crit already. Uh, almost 10% crit built in with this ascension from 40 to 50, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, the one thing is, 
Her base attack is really low, okay? Her base attack is not leveling up very nicely. Uh, and, and this is to be expected, but you can see here, for those 10 levels, I only got 7 more attack. And, uh, you know, when I send her, I will get more attack, but... She's gonna have one of the lowest base attacks in the game. But I'm gonna show you in a minute here, I don't think that's gonna be a big, big issue with the way you're gonna use her. Alright, so I took her to level 80. That is as far as I'm gonna take her for right now. I'm not gonna go any further other than the Ascension. I don't wanna waste any more books. Thank you so much for farming all this, man. This is this is a game changer. You can see here with this ascension, getting 88% crit damage in the kit uh, and 122 base attack. So we've got a Crescent Pike, which we can definitely use, but she does the mass majority of pyro damage. But I'm guessing most of you have a Crescent Pike, so we're going to use a Crescent Pike a little bit. We'll see how it feels, but we're also going to use this bad boy. This thing has some energy recharge in, which is awesome. You're going to be able to pop that uh, Q ability. It's got the crit rate, so we're going to use this for right now. Now, that's going to be a lot of damage and bring up that base attack of Hu Tao right this second. So we've got a Pyro Cup here. It's got a little bit of crit rate. It's actually got some HP percentage, so we can use this. Let's just equip that. Now, we've also got some Witch Set items. This has got some nice crit rate and uh, energy recharge and stuff. We'll use this Feather because it's got some crit rate and it's got some HP percentage, so let's equip that. Now, we're going to go with the Gladiator's Longing here with the HP percentage because, you know, stacking a bunch of HP is then going to give her attack when she's using her E ability. So, let's try it out and let's see how it goes. I'm sure using attack percentage could be good as well here, but let's just try out the HP and see if it's worth it. Damn. And uh, we've got the crit rate on the Witch Scorcher's hat, and we've also got a bunch of crit damage. So, let's equip that and just see where we're at overall. Um, wow. Oh, okay. Now, the crit damage, it could be definitely higher. We've got a lot of crit right here, so honestly, if we wanted, we could sacrifice some of that crit rate. Um, you know, let's just stick with it for now. If you want to min-max on your character, we can, but let's just stick with this and see how she's hitting. You can see here, we've got that nice boost of pyro damage. Let's see how she's hitting, but we've got almost 30,000 HP, and you can see right now, the attack is 1,342. But check this out. Now, if I pop that E ability, oh yeah, looking good. We've got the pyro attacks, that's cool. But look at this, 2400 attack just from pressing that E ability. Now, we could also throw another pyro character in and boost that even further with the pyro resonance. That is definitely an option. So let's do that really quickly and take another look. With the pyro resonance, almost 2700. Uh, so I mean that's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. If you're looking at that and you're looking at the crit damage and the crit rate and everything, she's gonna hit really hard. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna steal this item here because it's got crit damage, it's got HP percentage and crit rate. I'm gonna swap to that. Um, just because if you look at my artifacts and uh, my overall stats here, I think this would be a much healthier distribution. 60% crit rate, 170% crit damage. Feeling good. Let's use everyone. Let's use everything. Get some Bennett going. Let's pop this. Oh, we're starting to slap. 11,000 damage. Let's pop this. Shoot it. 25,000 damage. Okay. I'm actually going to jump into the test run with the artifacts that they have there and just see kind of what it's like. Uh, see what weapons she's using. All right. So this is level 80 Hu Tao, right? No ascension to level 90. So we're missing some crit damage. This is also a level 80 Staff of Homa. But if you look at my attributes here, HP is almost identical. So... Um, the thing here is, I'm, I'm wondering, will this attack bonus be worth it? Obviously, I'm gonna hit pretty hard. Honestly, pretty similar damage numbers. A little bit higher, maybe with the 8,000s. Actually, no, do you know what? I think I was critting higher before. I was getting some 11,000 crits on the melt. Okay. Okay. Let's use the Q ability here. How much damage? Oh, I didn't crit. I don't think I critted there. Wow, getting a lot of energy recharge here. What is? What are the artifacts on this? All right, witch set. It's a full witch set here. Huh. All right, let's try this again. Bust this guy's shield, and we'll pop it. Crit. Okay. I mean, wow, sixteen thousand there. You have to remember. You have to remember. This is a level eighty weapon. Level eighty. Uh, Hu Tao. So I'm actually probably less damage in some cases here, but the Staff of Homa really was doing some major damage. That weapon is gonna be cracked. I don't know, boys. She, she's not blowing me away with her damage. Hold on. 
Uh, that was her damage without upgrading any talents. Holy cow. Wait, wait, wait. Am I an idiot? Let's try this out again. So we took it 8, 9, and 7. Uh, she's going to be doing a lot of basic attacks. I probably could have taken that to 9 instead of this one, but I wanted to try the HP scaling. Now let's see what she's doing after getting those talent upgrades. All right, boys, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Get some of this. Get some of this. Okay. Okay. 14,000 damage. 40,000 damage. Uh... Okay, yeah, our damage is way better now we've got those talents. Like, it's night and day. Pop that, do a little that, give me a little of this. Okay. Okay, this is much better, dude. That passive burn, though, kind of nice. All right, so I didn't get it in time. See this passive burning. All right, it's doing like 3,000 damage there. That's not bad. That is not bad. And let's use the Q ability without any uh, bonus. 21,000. So uh, literally half the damage. You gotta use your Q ability when you've got E up. You gotta use your Q ability when you ease up. Let's use these idiots. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're juking. Look at that. We're diving through them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Getting some melt going, and, and the passive blossom damage there. Okay, get in there. Okay, this is better damage, much better damage. Pop this. Oh! Holy shit! Wow, one phase. Much better. I mean, it's night and day. It's night and day. Night and day. All right. Number one, she's so cute. She's a badass, okay? Number two, uh, I think that with her talents, she's pretty cool swapping out, using some of those other characters. Maybe you got a Venti. Maybe you got that Zhongli and you want to drop a Meteor. But getting this extra crit is going to be amazing. Also, because you're expending HP, there's going to be a lot of times you're getting a bunch of extra pyro damage built into your kit, which is amazing overall. As for artifacts, I think there's multiple ways you can build her. You could use a Crimson Witch and the Gladiator, but her base attack is so low, I think the Gladiator set is a waste here. There's probably a better option. Honestly, it's probably better to go with a full Witch set. I think it actually is probably better to go with a full Witch set. He just didn't have one on his account that's really ready to go, uh, but I think that's probably going to be your best bet overall. Constellations, C1, decent, C2, definitely good, C4, kinda trash, and C6 makes you god mode, but I don't know if it's that insane compared to other characters, C6. So I think that she is a character that you can use at C0 and be really, really happy. As for weapons, you know, you could do multiple different things. I did try out the Crescent Pike and it was fine. It was definitely fine because you, you know, you're generating these particles and you are going to get some of this, uh, this damage, but, uh, I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I love Crescent Pike, uh, because this physical damage is doing nothing for you for the most part. Skyward Spine felt pretty good, but I think the Staff of Homa is probably going to be best. You want to get a bunch of crit damage and crit rate with her because she gets crit damage in her build, so you want to make sure that you're stacking that as much as you can. I think overall, this is a pretty awesome character. I think she's pretty fun being able to dive in and out. She's got some passive burns and getting those big Q ability hits feels nice, especially when you're buffed up by your E. Now, is she going to be god tier? I'm not quite sure about that. I definitely would like to try her out with some different artifacts, but uh, even in the test run, she felt fine, but I'm not going to call her the most OP thing I've ever seen. I feel like right as I started using Gan Yu with my Amos bow, I felt like she was absolutely busted good, uh, OP to the max. And uh, I feel like we've got some decent artifacts here, a really good weapon, and I don't feel like she's breaking the game or anything like that. Uh, I feel like even when I tested out Xiao, maybe, I don't know, he felt like a little bit more OP, but that could just be because he's got a lot of area of effect, but I think Hu Tao is definitely, definitely good. If you're looking for a Pyro character, you're looking for a Polar ca character, uh, if you're looking at these banner characters, the four stars, and you're looking to wish on this banner, 
you do have a pretty strong cast of characters here if you do decide to wish, but that is up to you. Make sure to do the test run before you jump the gun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped give you some idea of what Hu Tao can do. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're interested in an amazing energy drink, go to advanced.gg slash mtashed. I've got my own mtashed mango splash flavor, and you can get 10% off by using code mtashed at checkout. The links are down below. Check it out. It's an amazing product. I'm telling you, you guys are going to like this uh, better than anything else on the market. And that's it for me.